Code Rush Feature of the Week. So, Mark, what have we got this week? Roy, this week I'm going to show you the Unit Test Builder. Awesome. That sounds really useful. And here we go. It's I've got a program that is uh, it's basically testing my uh, new super calculator that I'm building here. And so I've got this awesome. calculator class out here. Got a call to a very powerful method called square. That's going to square uh, whatever number I give pass into it. Um, it's a it's a brilliant brilliant algorithm here. I'll give you a peek at it right here. Basically, I iterate from uh, i being zero to the number, and then I just add the number that many times. Um, Excellent. Super brilliant. I, it feels infallible. It's sure to pave the way for new heights of achievement. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I've got this this program over here that I'm running right here that just kind of uh, with a function called test squares just kind of runs through all of those pieces there. It's not a, really yep. a unit test. But basically, it's going to say, hey, look, if i times i, it's not equal to calculator.square, then we're going to pass out this message here. And I, yeah. and I got all these extra exclamation marks over here to really be exciting about it. And yep. uh, then down here, if they're, but if they are equal, hey, we're just going to say this and, and, you know, we're going to be cool. So yeah. let's go ahead and run that. Here we go. Running it. Shows up on my other monitor. Let me drag that over here. Here it is right here. And you can say, hey, okay. we're cool. Five times five is 25. Yeah. Look at that. It's many good results. It's pretty much perfect. Now, it looks like there's a problem down down here as we move down. It looks like we're getting zero back all the time. We're not getting yeah. the, uh, that. But but really, when you think about it, do you really need it to work with negative numbers? Well, I, okay, yeah. fine. Then I'm going to set a break point <laughs> here. I'm going to set a break point right here, Roy. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. I'm going to set a break point because that's my problem space, right? I'm running the test again. So I'm going to hit a key to repeat the yep. test. Here we are. We're here. Let's now drill into that. I'm now inside of square. I've got number coming in at negative one. And, uh, and now I can maybe start to see the problem as we come down in here. Okay. Now I kind of see it. I could fix it. But I can also say, you know what? Let's build a unit test right now. And to do that, I'm just going to hit the code rush key. Control dot. Right like that. I'm going to say, let's create a new fixture in calc tests. Like that. Um, the... Uh, uh, this is the UI that comes up right here. It says, hey, look, after Code Rush is done, you're going to get a new unit test. So what's happening now is as we're in the debug session, Code Rush is collecting unit tests to build. So now right here, I'll just write a note to myself. I'll say like, hey, negative one uh, times a negative one uh, is equal to one, like that. And I'll say, okay, yeah. like that. And, uh, and then we'll just keep running like that. I'm going to clear my breakpoint. Whoops. Clear my breakpoint. Get to the end, like that, and uh, and now let's uh, press the key to get out of here, and we're done. Okay, now that we're sure. done, check out what's happened over here. Calculator test has been added for us, and now we've got that note for myself right there with another to do that says, "Hey, initialize numbers." So I'll come in and say, "Hey, that's equal to negative one, right there." Any other parameters mm -hmm. would be here for me as well, so I can c yeah. call that back again, right? And now I want to do uh, add an assertion. So I can just use code rush templates here, uh, AE for assert equal. And I'm going to say uh, one uh, and result like that. That's great. So code rush generated you a text fixture with a test method in it with the call to the method you were running and right. gave you some comments to just you know, fill in the missing pieces. And you've just had to put a very small amount of extra effort into doing that. Right. And you've got your test. Right. It's given me this. It's given me this. And what's really cool about it is I'm able, as I go through, to say, here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. And, uh, and, and, and Code Rush says, OK, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. And then at the end, it'll build all of those test cases for you. So it's pretty fantastic. cool. That's yeah. great. That's it. That's fantastic, Mark. Thanks very much. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.